And now I'm going to take a look at the actual uh, last year's PSLE paper and see how our fractions and ratios are applicable um, to some of the questions that, that you can see over there, right? So let's just take a look. Right, so for the first one, you can actually see that in the multiple choice, uh, see you got a fraction question over here. So which of the following is equal to 3 and 5 out of 6? This is a mixed uh, number which you need to change to improper fraction. What we do is we take 6 times 3, which is equal to 18, then 18 plus 5 will give us 23. So the fraction is actually, the fraction is 23 out of uh, 6, so the option is 3, All right? Next, so I'm, I'm not going to do every single one, uh, we'll just take a look at those uh, questions that are relevant, right? So of course, uh, question 4 is the next one that's relevant. Uh, so the pie chart shows the different ways a group of students go to school, what is the ratio of the number of students who walk to school to the number who go by bus? Number who walk to school is 20%. Number who go by bus, are, so of course, uh, I do not have the percentage over there, but I know that this is 40. So first thing I do is to take 100%, take away 40, take away 20, take away 10. And so I get uh, 60, 40, 30%. Right, so which means that the number of students who went to school by bus is uh, essentially 30%. So now we want the ratio of the number of students who walk to the number of students who go by bus. So walk is 20% and by bus is 30%. So we get 20 is to 30 and I can reduce the simplest form 2 is to 3. So the answer is all right, so let's keep looking. What else? Fractions and ratio questions. Fraction ratio question. Okay, so here's another one. Fraction. Now, uh, what this is testing is about changing to the common denominator. So I have 7 over 12 and uh, take away 1 out of 8. So 12 and 8, I have to think about the common denominator. Uh, I shall use 24. So the first fraction times 2 times 2, so I get 14. Take away, so I multiply by 3 times 3. It's 3 out of 24. And of course, 14 take away 3 is 11 out of 24. So the answer is 11 over 24, right? Next. Here, express 0.3% as a fraction. Now this is a bit tricky because this is 0.3%. Now remember if it is uh, 1, now this is not, this is a percentage, okay? This is not a decimal. Now if it is 1 whole, it is uh, 100%. So we do not want to mix up with this concept because this is 0.3%. Now if it is 1% fraction, it is 1 over 100. Okay, we are not looking at this, we are looking at this, this one. Okay, the concept here, percentage to fraction. So what if I have 0.3%? So if 1% is 1 over 100, 0.1% is 1 out of 1,000. So 0.3% will be 3 out of 1,000. So the answer is 3 over 1,000. Okay, next, let's keep looking. Remember, we're looking at uh, ratios and fractions, right? Ratios and fractions. Okay, this looks like another one. So a mixed fruit juice is made using 600 milliliters of orange juice. So I get 600 ml of orange juice and one liter of apple juice. So O is to A. Now 600 and uh, one liter, so I need to convert to milliliters, which is 1000 milliliters. 
right? So uh, you need 600 milliliters of orange and one liter, 1,000 milliliters of apple to make a fruit, mixed fruit juice, right? So I want to make four liters of mixed fruit juice. How many liters of orange juice will be needed? So the orange juice is, of course, referring to uh, this one. So what I do is I reduce this to the simplest form. Divide by 100 each, I get 6 is to 10. And I can divide this by 2, I get 3 is to 5. Right? So since I want to make 4 liters and they're asking how many liters of orange juice is required, now this convert to fraction is actually 3 out of 8. Now why 3 out of 8? Because 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So I take 3 out of 8 times. 4 liters, right? It's the same as 3 out of 8 times 4,000 milliliters. And using some, uh, I mean, the 4,000 divided by 8 is actually 500. So this one. So 3 times 500 will give me 1,500 milliliters, which is the same as 1.5 liters, right? Of orange juice is required okay anymore so percentage we're skipping let's look at ratios um, okay here another ratio question so mr yip asked some customers to choose their favorite color for a t-shirt the results are shown so what is the ratio of the number of customers who chose red to the number who chose blue to the number who chose green so to do that, I have to first see what's the number here. Now what's between uh, 4 and 8 is actually 6. And then uh, blue, this is uh, 30. So uh, I'll just write here, 30. This is 6. And this is 18. Right? So now we want the ratio of red, which is 6, to the number of choose blue, 30. The number of choose green. Yes, 18 over here. So part A, ratio will be 6 is to 30 is to 18, which I can reduce the simplest form, divide by 2, at 3 is to 15 is to 9, and I can divide again, 1 is to 5 is to 3. Right? So for part B, Mr. E ordered a total of 630 t-shirts, in the in the three colors according to the same ratio how many more blue uh, are there so only when you are able to get the ratio correct then you'll be able to do part b so how to do part b now you see for part b there's a total of 630 t-shirts and let's take a look at what is the total uh, ratio so 1 plus 5 plus 3 total is actually equals to 9 units Right, how did I get that? Just 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 find the sum. Write the sum of 1, 5, and 3. So 9 units represent 630 t-shirts. So 1 unit will be 70 t-shirts. So the question is how many more blue than red are there? So uh, which one is blue? This this is actually blue, red, and green. Right, so how many more blue than red? So the ratio is actually 5 take away 1 is 4. So I want 4 units. And I get 70 times 4 is 280. Right? So you see another ratio question down. Uh, any more ratio? Okay, here's another one. Fraction and ratio question. So Rudy, Sam, and Ted had 162 stickers all together. Rudy gave you out 10. To Sam and one out of four to Ted. Now the thing to take note here is the equivalent ratio. What does the ten and the four represent? Now the ten and the four actually represents the same thing, which in this case is the total number of stickers that Rudy has, right? So which means that I can make uh, find a common denominator. So common denominator between 10 and 4 
So let me write that down. So 3 out of 10 uh, is actually equals to 6 out of 20, right? And 1 out of 4 is 5 out of 20, right? This is finding equivalent, uh, this uh, equivalent uh, fractions. So after that, all three boys had the same number of stickers. Who had more stickers? The first set, more and so on and so forth. So the first part here, uh, we have already understood that Rudy, at first, all of them had 162 stickers altogether. So Rudy gave 3 out of 10 uh, to Sam and 1 out of 4 to Ted, which means that at first Rudy has, okay, let's take a look. This is before, Okay, so how many did Rudy had uh, at first? 20. Why is it 20? Because we determined that uh, the, the denominator, the common denominator is 20. So there's also Sam and Ted. Okay, so altogether Rudy gave away 11. Why? Because 6 and 5 is given away. So in fact, a three, a, this is 6 out of 20 is given to Sam this is for Sam and this one here is for Ted which means Sam had 6 and Ted had 5 out of what Rudy had now look here what is uh, 20 take away 11 it's actually equals to 9 and the question says that after that, all three boys had the same number of stickers, which means that this has to be 9, this also has to be 9. And we have to work backwards now. Now, a certain number plus 6 will give you 9. The number has got to be 3. And uh, likewise here, certain number uh, plus 5 will give us 9. So the number has got to be so we can answer the question now. Who had more stickers at first, Sam or Ted? Right, the answer is Ted. Okay, the answer is Ted. And how many more? So to answer the question, how many more? We know that there were 162 stickers all together. Right. Now 162 stickers, 162 stickers all together is actually equals to 27 units. How do you get that? Because this three all together is 27 units so uh, okay, let's find some space for working uh, okay so what I need to do now is to take 162 divided by 27 right so 162 divided by 27 let's say I take 27 times 6, 7, 6, right, so it's 42, 12, 162, okay, so it's 6 times, which means that 1 unit uh, represents 6, so who had more, so, uh, I mean uh, how many more did Ted have, if you look at the difference here, between 4 and 3 is actually 1 unit, so the answer is 6, so Ted had Ted, six more stickers. Okay, now there are actually a lot of uh, other questions remaining, uh, problem sums especially, that has got to do with uh, this uh, fractions ratio, especially this particular question, swing back some pies, right? So I won't be going through all of them. You see, here's another one uh, chicken wings, a uh, ratio again, equivalent ratio, uh, in especially, and this one, which is a picture. Right, but it's actually equivalent ratio uh, in disguise or fractions type of question in disguise. Right, so I hope now uh, you know that ratios, fractions actually has got a huge percentage in your PSL. So make sure you know them well and you'll be quite alright.